everyone welcome back uh, in this video as you know already know you can see in the screen eh? let's talk about visual studio code and how to set up that as an ide for your salesforce development so this video will not go much detail just introduce you to the visual code how what are the things and uh, there are certain things that you need to install or configure for your you know uh, project either it's a because this Visual Studio code will be used by many other projects like you know if you're building a Python code, you know PHP code or any Java code or in, in any sorts of code. So if you are working on the Salesforce project, so you have there are some things which you need to install that we'll discuss more in detail in the later later videos which are coming in this playlist. So first let's go through this visual studio code what it is all about and uh, you know let's get started so the first thing is this you know file explorer where you can you know uh, open your files open a folder or workspace and play around with that and the second thing is the search bar you can search your file like any you can type any keyword like uh, you know anything you want to search across your files irrespective of the uh, you know, folders or the workspaces and this one is the source code manager uh, source code management so you have to install either svn git or any other things that will help you know integrating in this piece of the icon so we'll come to that in the later part of the video so let's go to the next one so this one is nothing but you know you launch and the debug if you have any file to debug or code to debug open this part and open that file and you can debug that easily so that's what it is and coming to this part this is the market or you can say extension marketplace where you manage your extensions for this visual post page like i said you know if you're doing a salesforce project or a php project you need to you need certain extensions so that you know you can uh, connect to that application and manage your source code and also do uh, your coding and keep versioning it so there are a lot of things uh, involved in it for that there are a lot of you know, extensions which are already built so for if, if i talk about salesforce you know there is one thing that you need definitely is the salesforce extension pack this is also one of the extension but this is part of the salesforce extension pack if you install this all these things come under this one so this will help in uh, managing your salesforce application uh, it is opening in the new window fine so if you search salesforce extension like i can show you here so this is the salesforce extension pack you need to install this i have already installed this so that's why it's coming as uninstall or disable so and like similarly for php pack you have this pack so you need to install these extensions to get you started first so before that let's start with some basics suppose say i will create a new folder and uh, i have already created this for my this one testing i will create one more thing sf bits one so i have created this folder and let me select this folder no. and uh, work on my code i can create some codes like treat it as a uh, project or something and then create my files inside that so this folder has opened now i can create a new file in it i would say testing uh, fx class dot c s so i created a new file in this folder and it is opening so it has opened let's type something let's so i'm just typing some function or a method just to save this so this is a file step x class and along with that you can also create folder in it which is you know nothing but you can call it as a new project which you are working on so and you can move this file in this folder so that you know you can track all your codes and everything and this is another project you can create in the same uh, this one i think it's coming in this one so let's go here and if you go up click here you can create one more folder like sub project 
and once this is done you can create further subfolders in this i would say apex test class.cls and i'll just put some comment here and save it so this is how we can create folder and subfolder and now that you know we have tested with this folder let's create or let's save this as a workspace so what we can do is if you come down here save as a workspace so click here and then give a name like a new project workspace something so it saves with the extension code workspace that is a type of the file and once you save this as a new workspace it will be in your local and you whatever you create the files here it will be saved in your local wherever you have saved and similarly in this workspace you can add any number of folder as you can see add a folder to workspace you can say this is staging environment oh, sorry so i go to this one and i'll create a new folder stage and i'll select this folder and add this as a stage so now consider a new project and the staging environment and you will have you can sync between these two projects and also I'll, in the next video i'll show you how to connect your org and how to you know download from the org as well as to the svn so just for the sake of understanding i'll show you one more important command like if you go to settings there's one command palette so if you press here you can find all the commands like you know connect to the org if you say org log into this org and log out of this org you can retrieve the source from the org so you can do a lot of other things so resulted in an error i think it's not still configured for me yet for start i need to give login credentials there but as of now you know this is just control shift p is where you enter your commands you know create connect your uh, project or connect your org either dev stage or production and that's how you do it so for this video i'll close it here just for you to under you know make understanding about uh, folder and uh, workspace so uh, we have created a folder and saved it as a workspace and this is the new workspace so now let me just close this workspace and there is nothing here now and that workspace will be there in your local and anytime you can go there and open workspace so here if you come down this is the new project workspace which we have created and once we open we have all the folders in structure how we created and all our files we get to edit here and then you know check in or check out or do a svn update or a svn commit so that's all for this video um, do subscribe and follow if you want to know more about this uh, salesforce setup for the visual force code i'll be posting more videos on this so thank you for watching till now bye bye